Welcome back to Agra. Only Wrexham or Fleetwood can get their hands on this trophy as the title winners in the passport into the Football League. And Fleetwood again have come up with the answers uh, this evening. The man who won this trophy last season with Crawley, Steve Evans, has been with us all evening with Stuart Hammonds from the non-league paper. And we're delighted to welcome the winning manager, Mickey Mellon, as well. How are you feeling after that? Uh, tired. <laughs> um, let us just say to Steve here, it's, believe me, it's easier playing. Uh, you go through all the emotions here and... And uh, no, I'm, 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 I'm delighted with the victory. Delighted. They made it tough you in the first half, didn't they? It did. I think um, we look like a team that's played three games in six days at times. I think um, we uh, we knew that the pitch was going to be the way it was. I think it, it, we, we maybe took it uh, that literally. Um, I made a mistake. I have to put my hand up that I never started with Fowler. I thought the pitch wouldn't suit him. But then again, that's, that's as, as, as managers will tell you, you've got to be brave and stand up um, and, and make that change when you, you have to. Um, and we made the change, brought Fowler on, and I think uh, we gained some kind of control uh, on the game then. But it was a very, very tough match on real, real tough uh, playing surface. But as we said before the game, when you've got players like Vardy and like Mangan with the strike to get that important goal, that was the difference, wasn't it? Because they had their chances in the penalty area and didn't oh, take they them. Oh, they did. They had the chances. I'm not going to try and, uh, try and uh, gloss over that. They had the chances and, and could probably find themselves with it. the one that came off the post, unfortunate to, to, to be a goal up. But then again, that's maybe why um, we are we're where we are uh, because we're relentless. We keep going. We don't give up. We don't get disappointed. I had to give him a wee bit of a, a, a rocket at half time because I, d I didn't think that we were we were we came at the traps and were anywhere near what we were uh, or, or have been. But then again, sometimes uh, I mean we'll, we'll give them the secret away. We do know that it was three games in six days and it was going to be difficult tonight. Um, the Grimsby game took enough a lot out of us and uh, certainly tonight was another tough game but they stood up, they were counted and uh, I think they finished off uh, relatively comfortable for the last 15-20 minutes. So Once again, you haven't hit the dizzy heights but like we said before the game, it's not about that, is it? When you don't play particularly well, you still won the game and kept a clean sheet. Well, I, 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 I don't buy into that, don't play well. You've got to, you, we played well under the conditions that were in front of us. We were good on their conditions. It wasn't a bowling green like it is at Highbury. Um, if we go up there, we'll stroke it about as good as anybody. Everybody knows that. But you've got to be good at playing the conditions. Don't play against the pitch, play with the pitch. And I think the first half, it, we, we, we maybe took that a wee bit literally, like I say, and went route one a wee bit too much um, instead of trying to gain some control. But like I say, when I get people like Fowler on, I think you gain some sort of control in the game. And Andy Mangan's goal. I mean, that nil nil, this, was, this must have been a great feeling for you when he, when he smashed this one home. Well, see, to be fair, he got the, he got the biggest rocket at half time. <laughs> um, because he's, a, he's a, a terrific footballer and when he's not at it, um, you get disappointed though. And that's how I, I work with my players, I get, if I get disappointed, I'm disappointed for them because I want them to perform. I know what he's capable of, I'm not asking him to do something that he can't do because he's a top, top player with great this ability. He's a top, top finish, isn't he? And, um, I mean, you, you don't save them, you don't save them. But he was first to come out to me, he's a cocky little bugger. <laughs> and he's come out to me and, and I'm absolutely delighted with that. He's went, there you go Gaffer, thanks for the bollocking. Uh, pick that out. So delighted. And then when the second one went in, um, that effectively killed the game, really, Mickey, didn't it? It did. Yeah, I think uh, after getting that one, we, we uh, the next goal was going to be the, the all important one. And uh, I'm delighted that um, that, that Broge has got his goal. Um, he's poked it in there. He, he, he certainly scored that more difficult than that. But um, Steve will tell you he's a handful and he's a goal scorer, and, he, and he'll do that for you. And he worked hard in the conditions yeah, I, tonight, I said, didn't he? You I said, said that, didn't I said you? in commentary, uh, Mickey, everybody expects Brodie to get 30, 40 goals because of some standards they set at York City. But I think tonight, in terms of sheer endeavour mm -hmm. and what rate and commitment, I said centre-halves don't want to play against no. Richard Brodie. He's One thing you get age. when, you, when you, get, you play against Richard Brodie is you'll know you've been in a game of football. And as a manager, you can't ask for any more than that. And Steve, that's why Steve got him to Crawley and that's why I was so desperate to bring him here because he will, you will know um, that you're in a game he'll make it difficult for you sometimes it spills over the top and you've got to try and manage that because he's uh, he can be a handful but um, <laughs> he, uh, he, his heart's in the right place and, and as a manager you can't for, ask for any more than, than somebody with a heart the same size as Richard Brody he's a great kid and if, if you are to get your hands on this trophy is this the type of result or the type of ground that, that's going to earn it and we were talking beforehand even Steve's Crawley and their great run last year didn't win here they dropped two points here yeah it's a tough place to go we looked at the fixtures um, any manager that tells you he says he's not looking at the fixtures, he's lying by yeah. the way. He's we'll admitted that tonight as well, so at least it's the two Glaswegians agreeing yeah, on something. Yeah, we're honest, we're honest, yeah. good honest yeah. guys. Yeah, absolutely. Don't, yeah. Worry, don't, uh, <laughs> don't worry about that. But we knew this is a real difficult game. We knew the, the condition of the pitch, we, we knew that. 
We knew that we weren't going to have to uh, be able to slick it around the way that we, we have been known to do. We just knew that we had to be try and be good under the circumstances, under the under the under the surface that we're playing on. I, I, th- I, think, I, I think for me, Mickey, I think I think your choice to bring Lee Fowler on uh, was was brave, and you spoke about bravery. I think it was inspired. I think for me, your second best in the middle of the pitch for yeah. for that first 20, 27, Absolutely. 28 minutes. I understand it. I thought perhaps it was an injury, but when you brought him on, it changed the game. And, yeah. And you're chairman on your glass of wine tonight. That was well, a that, so. <laughs> that was a brave, but it was a brave decision. Well, you know, you, you get some you big know, players. You know that to to be successful, you have got to work with your players. And sometimes you'll make a call that'll that'll uh, help them maybe nudge that wee bit in front, so you feel like you've been part of it. And sometimes you'll get it wrong. Um, but as long as you try and date for the, the the best of the group and try and win games with your players, uh, they appreciate that. And, and I think. On the night we, may, we maybe got that one right. Now he's getting worried now because the conference record might be uh, under un, 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 un threat. Let's not Look, get carried away. Well, <laughs> I, I, that was an unbelievable effort from them. Yeah. And, and I think if, it, if, if any team's going to break it, they've been on this run since Stuart said, since a, I think a few days in time scale is different from us in the yep. same club in Newport, etc. Five days. But I think with the with the way they went about their business in the summer with the chairman and we this man driving it because the chairman doesn't sign a player up there. The manager signs the players, he chooses the players, he picks his team and he sticks and stands in front of his, his decisions as he's, as he's done tonight. So if it's going to go to any team, then we'd love it to go to a fellow jock. Let, <laughs> let's just have one final honesty answer then. What do you do tomorrow? Do you have a day off? Do you have a complete way? Or do you, complete or do you just break. Do you cheer Barrow on? Do you go to the no, game? No, listen, it's, we've done our part of the business now. And I will be honest about this, I'm only concentrating on our next game. Um, if we get a Brucey bonus tomorrow, of course we'll be doing cartwheels, uh, all of us. But if we don't, it won't disappoint us because we've kept to our side of the bar. We've just got to keep winning games. We won't get disappointed with what wreck someday if we keep uh, winning games of football. One more honesty. Tackle from Jamie Vardy in the first half. I've never seen it. What, what's happened? Okay, let me, let me just show you this. I know you've never seen it before. Um, on another day, I've never seen he, him tackle before. <laughs> could, could he have been shown a card and perhaps what colour? Well, perhaps I, with I another angle. Let, let, let me see this. Let see, me see this angle up. now. Yeah. Oh, he looks like the karate kid, doesn't he? I mean, <laughs> he's uh, he's he's not connected with the boy, which I'm delighted about because I don't want players to be getting injured. Absolutely, he's not that absolutely. type of player. If he was, uh, if he had injured the player, I'd have been very really unhappy with that, and I wouldn't have been disappointed if, if they get sent off for it. And that's in all honesty. But he's not connected with the boy. Boys got away with. We've got home and, and honesty from the kid as well. There, by the way, that's that's a lot of what the conference is about. Because yeah. maybe at another level, you'd have had somebody da- uh, diving or uh, correct or other place and then. Back springs on the point. pitch there, so that's a lot of what the conference is all about. And fair play to the boy for that. Well, Mickey, I tell you what, there'll be a lot of managers in the Premier League that I talk to tomorrow won't answer with such honesty as well. So I really appreciate that. Oh, we try our best. I mean, we enjoy our football, and but Steve will tell you we, we feel that we're responsible for putting good football on and making people come and get involved in it. So sometimes you've you've just got to be uh, be honest, haven't you? We're enjoying watching you. Go Thank and have you. that glass of wine oh, and have well, a good yeah. day off tomorrow. Thank you very much. All the best. Appreciate All it, best Mickey. Point. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Mickey Mellon, the victorious yeah. Fleetwood manager. Uh, the tonight, so the eight-point gap as well. He's delighted.